When good ideas and good people come together, great things happen. It is my privilege to welcome you to this press conference today. So with that said, um, we're going to try to make this as brief as possible. I'm going to invite Dr. Denise Brathwaite Tennant to talk about our Just Like Home project overview. I must start off by why did we choose a project called Just Like Home? Clearly, we don't want the hospital bed to become your home, but we recognize that when you are away from your home, your support and care of your family and surrounded by environments and things that you are familiar with, it is even important that when you are in a hospital environment that you get that home security and protection that you feel. Now as it comes to our caregivers, our nurses and doctors and care team that take care of you, you are also being cared for in an environment. And many of our patients keep telling us the walls are nice and clean, the hospital smells nice, but we would like some Wi-Fi for our comfort and we would like some television as a form of entertainment because it is well known and recognized that these are forms of therapy and distraction that helps people to adjust to a new and changing environment, especially when they are ill. It became even more important during this pandemic where we have had to isolate persons completely away from their families for their safety and the safety of their families. As well as other persons who don't have COVID, we have had to restrict visitation, not unlike many other hospitals in the world. So then it became an even more priority to bridge the gap between our patients and their family. So now comes the Community Advisory Committee. In 2017, we commenced a Community Advisory Committee. This committee is made up of persons with lived experience of our services. But we have a double benefit, not just only persons with lived experiences, but the persons who are on our committee are influencers within the Turks and Caicos Islands as well, at various levels. So I'm not talking about just corporate executives, but they're frontline persons in various sectors within the TCI who have a voice. So they have brought to us a voice and an extra arm in this fight to ensure that we exceed the expectations of patients and families. So while doing a presentation about our patient satisfaction survey and our patient portal and partnering with them to develop our strategic plan, yes, we developed our strategic plan with the input and the voice of our community advisory committee. It wasn't just us. And they said to me, Dr. Brethwick, what are some of the common themes that patients give on your patient satisfaction? And so I spoke of some of the common themes, but I also spoke of that they keep asking us for televisions in the room and they keep asking us for Wi-Fi, consistent Wi-Fi service. With our system upgrades, we are going to achieve the Wi-Fi and we have. We've also achieved charging stations for them also in the waiting areas. They were asking for that also. But I said the television in our rooms is going to be at a significant cost for us. And every increased cost is something that the government has to bear. And when I think about other requests that we have been making for staff and equipment, television sadly fall lower on the line. And this is where we are hoping for a corporate sponsor or sponsors to assist us. And right away, our two project leaders, I don't think I was finished giving the presentation. When Ms. Rose Mary Jolly and Stacy Cox said to me, Dr. Brathway, how many TVs do you want? So I told them, they said, we're gonna make this happen. I had other senior managers on the call with me. We were like goosebumps. What? Someone is going to make this happen for us? And they did, and this is where we stand today. Now, others may think this is something small, but it is not. To our patients, this is going to be something big for them, especially during this pandemic. Because on those televisions, we can not only stream the entertainment that they like, 
but we can stream our disaster releases, patient information, so many things we can do for them. And so on behalf of the senior management team of Interhealth Canada as well, and our valued patients and families, I personally and all of us would like to thank you very, very much for what you have done. Only but recently, we had a patient and this patient said to me, Dr. Brathwaite, I'm in the hospital, but I just love my shoes. Price is right. And she started to list off. The most I could do for her was to give her that free Wi-Fi service on her device. But she said, I like TV. But all of the other two or three rooms that we had televisions in, we could not achieve that for her. And so that lingers on in my mind. And so I give you that story to say that nurses and doctors, clean rooms, medications matter. But all of these other comforts of home that we're trying to achieve in the room matters to the patient and impacts on their experience. So thank you very, very much for what you have done. According to the Agency of Health Care Research, the average patient spends 4.5 days hospitalized. Can you imagine being in the hospital for 4.5 days on average, just staring at walls? So this initiative is greatly welcome and I'm sure it will be greatly appreciated by our patients, they asked, and the Community Advisory Committee delivered. Up next, you will have Taking Charge, Securing Corporate Support, and that will be Stacy Cox, CAC member, and, Rose J and Rosemary Jolly, CAC member. Come and give them a round of applause as they come. Good morning, everyone. Standing on the already established protocol, I want to say the day is finally here, in the words of Dr. Brathwaite. It was only a few months ago that we sat in this meeting and um, Dr. Brathwaite tenant expressed um, the needs of, of the hospital. And although I was thinking it, uh, Rosemary chimed up and said, how can we do it? And I was just like, oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> we don't know how we're gonna do it, but thanks to the sponsorship of, of the members of the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association. Today, we have all rooms in this hospital and in Grand Turk furnished with televisions on behalf of the membership. <laughs> this project was dear to me as well because I too have spent some time, um, 24 hours in this facility with no Wi-Fi and no television. So I can imagine um, how individuals would feel spending like um, Kino said, an average of three to four days hospitalized without internet or television. So for that, um, it, it, again, it resonates with me and I'm grateful to be a part of this. And I appreciate your support and your push for this as well. Um, every several weeks, Dr. Brathway is in my WhatsApp. Any word yet? Any word yet? And the most I can say is soon come. <laughs> so it's a pleasure to be on the advisory, on the Council of Advisory Mem Committee and to set projects like this and know that this is the first of many more to come. Thank you so much. I always say I have a passion for five groups of people. The less fortunate, the vulnerable, the sick, the elderly, and the children. And so when the opportunity came um, in one of our CAC meetings for the Just Like Home initiative, I was just so excited to, you know, as Stacy say, what can we do? How can we get this done? And so we started the ball rolling right away. And so I am so happy to um, give back to one of my most passionate groups of people, the sick. You know, when you're in the hospital and, and you're watching the four walls and you're thinking, what can I do to, you know, pass away the time? These beautiful televisions is what's gonna help to do that. And so on the behalf of um, my company, Royal West Indies Resort, RWI Management, 
I am pleased that we were able to contribute to this initiative and as always we're happy to do anything when it comes to our most passionate groups of people and so it's my pleasure to be a part of this uh, great initiative. Thank you so much. At this time, um, we will have Ms. Maureen Brown, Inpatient Unit Manager. She's going to talk about the impact of entertainment technology on patient satisfaction. Give her a round of applause. Good morning, everybody. So this is a really historic occasion on the inpatient services unit. We are going to get televisions, and I can't tell you how much difference that's going to make to our patients. It's going to be a wondrous time as they go through the journey of health. In these last uh, 18 months, uh, as we've gone through the global pandemic, the patients have had only the nurses, those who haven't been able to get the room for the television, or the nurses as their entertainment. And whilst that's been fabulous and good, it's not the distraction that you need when you're in hospital for a long time. So four to five days is usually what people are in hospital for. COVID, maybe many weeks. And it's been dark and it's been torturous for some of those patients and we've held their hands and we've spoken to them but they've had no way of actually being distracted from their ills and their fears and to know whether they're going to survive COVID or whether they're going to get better or when that's going to happen. So this gift seems simple, but it's really not that simple because the patients that we get inside of this um, in, in Cheshire Hall and in Coburn Medical Centre, they have spiritual needs which are met by some of the service programs that are on the television. They, have, they need mindfulness. They need to be thinking about uh, what builds them, what gives them strength. And there are certain programs on the televisions that give them that. They are a therapy. They are, they are not a physical therapy. They are an emotional therapy. And the patients are gonna so benefit from that. When you're acutely ill, you don't want to watch television, but as you get better and you're moving nearer and nearer to going home, you need a distraction and you need to think about the positive things. And what's happened today is that the community has got together in a relationship with the hospital to give the patients of this community, of this island, a beneficial therapy that they're going to love. I cannot even express to you the joy that the staff feel when they heard that we're getting televisions. It was like Christmas had come early, okay? So for the patients, this is gonna be a really commemorative time. So I'd like to thank you and thank you all, one and all, for all the organizations that have donated and been part of this initiative because nobody is going to undermine the fact that this is gonna be an it's a turning point. This is an absolute turning point for us here in the inpatient unit. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Forbes, and thanks everybody who's here. It's a pleasure for me to be a part of this commissioning ceremony, having had very little to do with it, but being a part of a great result. I'm going to keep my remarks short. Um, I'd like to definitely thank all corporate sponsors here today and persons who couldn't have been here to make it and although it hasn't been done yet I would like to call them out specifically and those persons involved um, on the list at the Tuscany on Grace Bay the source discovery tours Grace Bay IGA Fortis TCI flow TCI the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association Royal West Indies Resort and of course special acknowledgement goes to Stacy Cox, as well as Ms. Rosemary Jolly and the General Community Advisory Committee. This is what good corporate citizenship looks like. This is what we need more of, and we need it not just monetarily, but in meaningful ways. And I believe this is definitely meaningful. And giving the brief presentation just given by 
Ms. Maureen Brown in terms of how it will benefit the patients at the Interhealth Canada Turks and Caicos Hospitals. <laughs> Turks and Caicos Islands Hospitals, it's important. Now, beyond the thanks to the corporate citizenships, now, the first time I heard about the Community Advisory Committee it was actually on a recent trip with Dr. Brathwaite, and she invited me to be here today, and I definitely took the opportunity. I was a little shocked that she said it was, in, it was established for the last, I guess, four years, since 2017. Now, I'm National Corns. All I know, first time I hear about it, was when we had our own local CEO in position over the last year and results are coming already. So I want the team on this committee to continue to push for the betterment because that's the idea. So it's all about partnerships, right? We have the NL partnership with the TCIG. We have persons in the community who's partnering with the hospitals as well because at the end of the day, it's about patient satisfaction at the end of the day, whatever means and whatever route we get to that. So again, thanks everybody for being here and thanks for inviting me to be a part of this special commissioning. And oh, I almost forget the best part. These are 40 inch TVs, you know, these are those small things, you know. God bless the, the rooms in the hospital big enough to accommodate these, otherwise it would have been disproportionate. So again, I don't know who did the sourcing, but trust me, these are some pretty looking televisions, flat screen, top of the line. So persons who are going to be here for whatever short stints we have them here for. I think they're, they're going to definitely benefit by having these um, pieces of equipment available for them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. So 27 40-inch televisions were given. Come on, we should give a better round of applause than that. So the number 27, coincidentally, relates to philanthropy, compassion, and cooperation. Imagine that. Just like that, 27. So I'm a numbers guy, okay. Well, I don't play numbers, but I'm a numbers guy. Let me just be careful and clear that up. Uh, we are so blessed and honored to have our sponsors here, some of our sponsors here, and at this time we will invite them um, to give brief remarks. So we will start um, with the lovely Mistress Aisha Laporte, Vice President and CFO and Corporate Secretary of Fortis TCI. All right. Thank you so much. Kino, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, and on behalf of our CEO, Mrs. Ruth Forbes, she was not able to be here today. Um, but on behalf of our CEO and all of the team at Fortis TCI, I just want to say how delighted we are to be a part of this amazing initiative to provide these televisions to the patients at Interhealth Canada. When we first heard about the project through um, Stacy, we knew that this was something that we had to be a part of because we believe in the value of partnerships. And this is a testament today of what we can achieve when we all come together and work together for our communities and for our people. So um, with that said, I just want to say that we, again, we are delighted to be a part of this project and we look forward to the great stories that will come out of this. And um, on behalf of Fortis CCI, again, we wish you all all the best as you continue to provide the excellent um, and critical services here in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mistress Laporte. Um, up next, we will have Mr. Trevor Musgrove from Discover Tours, and he's wearing two hats today. Um, and he's also representing the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association. Morning. I'd like to say thank you and I feel very good to be a part of this, especially a part of the Hotel Association, but also my company Discovery Tours. Stacy called me and she was like, 
want to donate some TVs, you know, like TVs, but she explained it to me and I think it's a very worthy cause and I can't imagine being here at a long period of time and not having some entertainment as such, TVs or Wi-Fi, so I think I echo the sentiments of Aisha, um, this is a good partnership between the private and public sector, so again, thank you for being a part. On behalf of Discovery Tours and Hotel Association, I say thank you again. Mr. Darren Hillier of Flow TCI. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm also standing today in the stead of my CEO, uh, Mr. Ann Mizek, who unfortunately could not be here today. In light of uh, Kino's wisdom, where the number 27 is concerned, I'm the 27 year old in the room. <laughs> And so in, in one way or form, we have all been impacted by or have an experience rather uh, of the hospital, whether it is this hospital or another. And we all have equally heard the cries um, of patients who have expressed their desire for two things in particular, internet and TV, as the CEO fittingly uh, described. I love the fact that an essence of providing personal and effective patient care, um, that you have listened to the patient's concerns and, and have them communicate what they want, uh, and your team has created a vision for this in the form of this project. I also love the fact that through this project we have come to realize that when people consider a feeling of home and a feeling of completeness where a home is concerned, they consider the quality, and access, quality of and the access to the internet and the provision of TV services. And at Flow TCI, uh, we are happy to provide both and the best of both. Again, um, thank you. Thank you very much. I, well, I think I've said it all. Um, but Royal West in this resort um, always, maybe sometimes you don't see us out there a lot, but behind the scenes, anything to do with healthcare, with sports, um, with education, we are always on board. And so again, when I proposed this to my um, other managers and, and um, owners, and I said, you know, we're on this committee, we are trying to um, secure televisions for patients at the hospital, Etc. Etc. And they said, "Good idea. Let us know when. Let us know what you want to do." And of course, I just picked a number out of a hat, and you know that was it. So, on the behalf of Royal West Indies Resort, again, I would just like to say we're happy to partner with this initiative, and we look forward to continuing the support to not only the hospital but to any other initiative of importance um, in our community. Thank you again. Thank you very much, Ms. Um, Jolly. I would just like to recognize our sponsors that were not able to make it today. We have the Tuscany on Grace Bay, The Source, Graceway IGA. Um, so let's give them a round of applause. This is just one of many. <laughs>